Hey, welcome to another episode of Disney Dust. It's Disney Duane here, and we're going to be reviewing, as you saw earlier, the mysterious Benedict Society. And it's a bit of a strange name, but it is also the title of a book series um, written by Trenton Lee Stewart. And it's been made into a series on Disney Plus. We've just had the first season. Of course, it doesn't cover all of what's happened in the series of books, uh, but it just covers maybe I, the first book. I don't know. I didn't read the books, but uh, people who have read the books say that actually it was a little bit disappointing because it scratched the surface and it didn't delve into the meat of things. However, because I haven't read the books, I actually found it engaging enough and the pacing was great. And I felt that there was substantial stuff, which makes me want to read the books now because I want to know what more meat there is to this series. I was hooked immediately. I thought it was going to be something a bit like um, very kitty and something, you know, just not appealing. But it did appeal to me in the sense that they talked about the emergency, a state that the world is going through right now. Um, yeah, very, very apt. The emergency and um, also the fact that the world needed to be saved by an improvement. Now, the improvement, of course, is a debatable plan on how to save the world. You've got two opposing sides. The good guys apparently uh, don't want the world to be controlled to be safe, but the bad guys want the world to be controlled. So there's this whole fight, and it's against... Uh, it's a family fight, actually. So I, that's all I'll say. Um, and it's wonderful because they also delve into the fact that in order to save the world, you need empathy. And the only people who aren't distracted by all the distractions of the world are children. Uh, and I find that resonates really quite well, actually. And children have empathy, uh, a lot more empathy than apparently adults do. And therefore, they're the ones to save the world. Great premise. Loved it from the start. It has a very Wes Anderson feel. And uh, I love that feel, too. And it's very brainy because these are brainy kids. So it's really um, it really takes a brainy writer to write how these brainy kids talk. And it also has a lot of puzzles in it, which is very exciting and entertaining, uh, which requires a lot of brains, too. So I actually enjoyed the whole brainy aspect of it. Very nerdy, um, something that's not always in a series. And um, that's pretty much it. And then it ends in a cliffhanger um, and uh, hopefully it leads to more seasons. I think it should because it was really well done. Uh, but I, I read that also the plan for the series is to actually... Uh, continue but less strictly uh, sticking to the original book series storyline so it's going to branch off on to its own thing uh, which will also be exciting but anyways I'm going to go read the book what did you think let me know in the comments below and of course if you haven't already subscribe subscribe for more reviews more covers park visits when traveling happens and uh, a host of other Disney news this is Disney Dwayne take care and see you next time bye